good morning it's raining so I'm underneath the brolly I had a very early kick off this morning setting off from home before it was uh, light and at 4.42 a.m. driving along the road just a few miles from home I saw a barn owl so that was a fantastic start but of course I am here to fish not just to see birds and other things that help to add to it uh, I'm dead baiting for perch on the local canal and three hours or so into the session I've just had uh, I just had a nice fish so I'm happy with that this time of the year the boats are, are through very early I have had one already um, and so don't really get too many hours of fishing maybe three uh, possibly four but uh, I've enjoyed my time here so far and I'm going to fish until the next boat comes through which I don't know how long that will be but there's been some water movement on the canal so shouldn't be too long now but I have had that one perch so I'm, uh, I'm happy with that caught on a gudgeon uh, section tail section of a gudgeon ledgered dead bait in the canal Back again on the canal, dead baiting for perch. And the first thing I did when I arrived was to put out some brown crumb and dead maggots to attract smaller fish into the swim, such as gudgeon and, and small roach. And then the perch, this is the theory anyway, the perch, the big perch, then move in. And of course they feed on the fry and the small fish. And then when they see a, a dead gudgeon or a section of a dead gudgeon on the canal there waiting for them, well, it's easy food, isn't it, rather than having to chase around the, uh, the small fry and the small fish. So that's the theory. I've put out the, uh, the bait. I've cast out. It seemed to work because after five minutes, I had a definite inquiry on one of the rods, uh, but unfortunately didn't materialise. But I've got another two hours, two and a half hours, until it's dark, and so I'm hoping to, uh, to catch a perch. So there's the bait. There's the attractor. And I've got the gudgeon tail on one uh, rod and a gudgeon head on the other. And so hopefully that will catch me a perch this evening. Excellent, another good perch. I would have captured it on film, but uh, a few minutes before I actually had the take, it started to rain, so I had to set the brolly up and uh, bring all the stuff underneath it, such as the camcorder, which obviously you can't keep out in the rain. So I wasn't able to capture it on film, but it was a, it was a lovely, confident take, and when I caught the fish, it was caught on a gudgeon tail. When I caught the fish, its, uh, its throat, had red maggots in it so you could see that it had been uh, it had been feeding as well 
on the maggots as well as the uh, um, the gudgeon tail. So uh, a great fish. This is actually my 50th session of the year so far and my 28th for perch on the Staffs Worcestershire Canal. So I've certainly been putting the time in. I've been trying lots of new stretches, lots of new sections, um, really just dropping into places that look perchy. And it's great when it all comes together, as it often does when you have perseverance and uh, watercraft and put all those things together to, uh, to connect with the fish. So I'm certainly pleased this week. I've had a couple of good perch so far. I've got another hour or so left now of light on this uh, final session of the week. So who knows, but at least I've, uh, I've had a good couple of fish and I'm certainly pleased with that. I've had a few blanks along the way as well, included in that 28. But to me, that's part of specimen angling, particularly if you're going to try new places and uh, fish stretches that you've never seen anyone on before and sort of move along the canal and uh, hopefully connect with fish, but also realistically connect with a few blanks as well along the way. But the two fish have certainly inspired me and I'm enjoying my perching this year and I continue to, uh, to do that, certainly throughout the summer, but definitely once we hit autumn again. I'm really looking forward to a year of perch fishing.